Okay. Oh, should I record or not? Should I record? Okay, let's officially start. Um, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and continue doing um the brushes, and uh, and this the, hopefully this time we can get through some more because last time was <laughs> a bit of was pretty bad actually. I couldn't. I only got through two. So this time we're gonna go through the, maybe this row. Yes. I'm doing Erin Blaze's uh, directional hair brushes, starting with directional hair number six. Um, if you guys haven't seen the videos of how to set it up um, or what I'm supposed to do, uh, just go ahead and look at part one and part two because it's super easy. It's just a bit um, cumbersome, you know. It's just a whole thing of trial and error. And hopefully, if you just follow along with what I'm doing, um, you won't have to do all that trial and error. You can just copy the settings I carry out. So yeah, let's get started. Uh, on my right is Photoshop, by the way. So let's just I'm gonna create a new one. Make sure that the resolution is quite high because Aaron, Bla 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 Aaron Blaze does have a, my, I got a little tongue tie there. Uh, he does create brushes for a high resolution canvases. So if you're gonna be copying the brush, um, it's important that you create a canvas with high resolution. Okay, and here we're going to open our first brush. Number six. There we go. First step that we can never forget. Convert it to gray. And now we're going to register it. So this time I'm going to, because this is the third part or the third time I'm doing this, I might go a little faster so we can get through some more of this uh, on this stream. So... I'm just gonna name it. Be sure to use for tip, brush tip, materials, hmm. hair full. Okay, we're good. And then now we just close it. Now we gotta create the canvas. Uh, that's fine for resolution. Yep. This is foreground. Go to hair, mm. hair clump, triple. Hmm. Oh, that's nice. Not that one. Um, yeah, this is the one from last stream. It was hard to do that one. So I can copy either one because because it's a single hair. I don't think we're gonna be um maybe this one. I'm just gonna duplicate this sub tool. It's not a clump. It's a single hair. So. Like this. Okay, then let's get started. Brush tip, delete that. Yeah. Ooh, I did mess up on something. I need to go to material first so I can find that brush a little easier. Um, make sure I apply the tags so I can later search it. Okay, now I'll go back to editing it. Brush tip. You see, if I don't apply the tags, then when I do this, I won't be able to filter by it, and it's gonna be a bit of a pain to find it. But because we do have a filter with the tag, I mean, now because I have just added the tags, I can filter it properly. Hmm. Okay. Now we gotta get started, but before I get started, I gotta see what the brush does in the first place. So, mm, what brush is it? Is it this one? Looks like this one, right? Or this? Definitely that one. Definitely this one. So, let's see what the brush is supposed to do. Whoa. Look at that. So, it's just supposed to follow a nice little trail. Alright then. Uh. Oh, that's fine. Okay, um, but so it's pretty similar to the clumps we've done 
So I'm just going to open here. It's got shape dynamics, angle jitter, roundness jitter, scattering. Yeah, the usual suspects and color dynamics too. So I think it's going to be pretty close to this one. Uh, just instead with a clump. So what I'm going to do is forget this. Um, here's how you delete the subtool. So I'll right click, delete subtool. I'm actually going to duplicate this last one from the other stream because I think it's going to be much, the settings are going to be a lot closer to that. So, single hairs, hair. I'm going to edit it. Brush tip and hair. Oh, there we are. And maybe out of the box. Yep. Pretty close, right? Look at that. So if I do a couple of trials here. One, two, three, one, two, three. Same trials here. Mm, not so close. So we do have to make some changes. Okay, let's see what we can do about that. So brush size. Do we want the brush size to change? Yeah, that's fine. So you guys want to see what I have for the brush size. Um, so the depending on the pen pressure, the size of my brush is going to go up or down but it will at least have a 75% of its size. So it's not going to vary a lot, just a little bit. And ink, opacity, I want it at 100%. Yeah, this is good. This is going to allow me to have that color changing, which is good so far. Th this settings is, is what's allowing um, for when you draw, you see how there are some grays, blacks, and all other kind of um, the color values grad gradiate. So you gotta do with this. You blend. Um, this is just pretty much 100 and 100. There's nothing selected here. It's empty. Um, that's it. And mixing rate of sub drawing color, just leave that 34 and a bit of random. So what I, I think I, our problem is, is in the, no, not the stroke, in the spraying effect. So yeah, maybe more particle density and a bit more spray in the aviation. So the particle density, as I've said before, it's the number of times the brush gets drawn. So the more particle density you have, it's the more, a whole more bunch of um, hair clumps you're gonna get. So look at this, that's way too much. Look at that, it's like a, oh, actually pretty cool, but that's like a lot, look at that. Very few, I think two is good enough. Three maybe three maybe no so much. Um, it's got unprone pressure. I think we should be able to leave it at this. Yeah. Even more. That's too much. Okay. And deviation is how. Far, um, you see this uh, in clip paint studio when you have your brush you never have the brush tip as the, uh, as the cursor you have a natural circle that's your circumference and what happens is that the brush will get drawn within that circumference so the spray deviation implies how far away from the dot in the center is going to go away so right now the spray deviation is in the center so if we go like this like if we go like this it just stays on the center all the time, which we don't want that because see how here in the right on Photoshop, um, it's not like that. It's oh, like, you know, when you draw, it follows you on the line, but it's not, you know, it doesn't, it's not very clamped. So this is more like there. And I don't know what I just did with the particle. Yeah, I moved it. That's the direction of it. Um, there we go. And here I want an angle jitter. But I know I want this random. So 
supposed to go like this. I do want some random. Not as big as I want that. No, that's towards the center. Direction of line, yeah. So then this needs to be like that. So yeah, that's a lot closer. So I think like this because here I'm looking at it and the degree must be angle too large it's only 4% control direction uh, so he has it flipped on the X see that mmm flipped on the X I don't really know how How can I flip the X? Well, that doesn't look quite right, does it? Hmm. Now you see all the little hairs that he has left, and you can tell this ones are always looking on the same side. Don't quite like that at all. I don't really know how to solve this problem. I'm so sorry. Big old yawn over here. And it's not on this, it's here, it's in this play effect, I don't, what it says, um, flip on the X, so you have your X and Y axis, and he's just flipping it over the X axis, and I think it's, um, might be a random thing, because here sometimes you see how, in the right on Photoshop, you see how here the shape is curved and then straight, and sometimes it's like this, it's like completely the opposite, so it's flipping it. Oh, I have an idea, so in the brush tip. What we could do is go file, open, the same one. Mm, convert it. And we're going to flip it ourselves over the X. Uh, no, that's not flipped over the X, that's been flipped over the Y axis, isn't it? So... No, actually, maybe that was right on the first thing. Yeah, there we go. File edit register material image mm -mm -mm. same one here two flipped here we go use the brush tip flip her 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 and we'll take it to material so now it's flipped you see it Single hair AB. Oh, that's a bad name. Should have been named AB. We're going to tag it. And what I'm going to do is in the brush tip, this, this is something that you can't do with Photoshop that's um, quite actually particular to, um, to Clip Studio Paint. So I'm going to add another brush tip. I'm going to filter by this by Aaron Blaze and hair and I'm going to add the flipped image version of it correct right and now in stroke so when clip studio paint when you stroke the the, the software 
and it's going to actually render both the brush tips I've put in there. And I, I don't know what the limit might be, but you can put you can put quite a lot. See now now it's starting to look more like it, but not entirely. Yes, does it look more like it? So it's rendering both of them now. See how you, it's not always on the same side. You can see sometimes the flipped one. So great. Yeah, it's looking quite close to it now, right? But it's, it should follow the direction of the line. So random, no, that's too much. Um, direction of line. Um, where's the angle of this thing? Screen reflect. Oh, okay. Never mind. I wanna let me unset this. Because I want to do that instead on the spraying effect side of it all. Well, it's a nice bold screen now. Actually, I'm just not. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The guy's seen that commercial with the Kool-Aid. I love it. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think now we're close. So now if I do the little snake, should follow along. Yep, there we go. So if we do a circle, see. And here we're gonna do the same. We're gonna do let me put circle and here maybe particle density can be like one more or is that too much mm -mm. I think that's good yeah I think we've got it that was pretty not pretty fast but we actually got through it so for the settings let me just save it <laughs> let me register that yeah so brush size doesn't really matter well a little bit of plant pressure but 75 it's always 75 percent of the minimum size um the ink make sure it's the, the opacity is um about 100 percent because then you're gonna have trouble with the blending colors which was one of the, the big problems i had on my last um streaming and thank goodness I'm, i definitely remember this time for the opacity to be at 100. Um, mix ground color blend amount of paint 100 density of paint 100 and mixing rate of sub color at 34. and i'm making these things visible so that uh, when you make these things visible with this icon here see take a be sure to have your eyes focused in this part of the of the program so if i click on opacity boom right there it shows does it that is for when you're actually which it's very comfortable and very useful so when you're painting and say you want to change something because the brush um, sometimes well you need to change it it's not always perfect for what you need to do with it instead of having to open the menu and changing you can just do it right here and this is what i, I would like to what refer to as hot changes because if you get if I'll show you right now what I mean. So let me just register it so I don't lose it. So imagine you're painting, right? You say, well, no, I want the particle size to be super small. Look at that. And well, no, I want the density to be like beastly. Look at that. Like really short hair. There's like short hair all over the place. Correct? And then you say, oh man, I want it to be like it was before. How do I go back? I don't remember the settings. That'd be pretty messed up if you wanted to go back. This is there's no control Z with this. So what you have is this little refresh icon. So when you hit it, 
boom, it'll go back to the original settings. So that's why I say it's um, like hot changes because you can always go back. And that's, that's it. That's pretty much it. I think it's, I love the brush engine in, in this program. It's, it's wonderful. It's a bit intimidating at first, but once you start playing around with it, you get to know it really quickly and it's, it's quite awesome. So it's showing you the rest of the settings in case somebody wants to be doing this with their own. Um, remember to put in the brush tip. Uh, there's thickness, thickness at 100, horizontal, direction at zero. This is just pretty much this. Um, brush density at 100. Uh, there's nothing on the inside menu. Spraying effect. This is the me. Like this is the poor part, the tofu part. Um, spraying effect, visible and checked. Particle size is at an 89. Particle density, it's got three highlights, but it's also got some pen pressure on it with 49 minimum value. Uh, we've got spray deviation with two color sets and then direction of particle at 68 with direction of line and then some random to a degree of effect of 14. And then we have stroke, uh, just I think this fixed gap uh, at four and some random at 53. And uh, repeat method is the second one. Texture, none. Uh, border or watercolor, none. Erase, none. Correction, absolutely none. And starting and ending, nothing. And this anti-overflow, nothing. So we're just sterile settings again, just in case. And we're done with this brush. Awesome. Now let's get to do what I like the best, which is uh, go here and Bye bye. Okay, next one. It's this nice little thick. Oh, you know what this might be really good for? This might be quite excellent. Mm, it looks like beard stubble, doesn't it? Yeah, that might be really good for that. So let's open it and see how it goes. So we can close this one out. Open. Number seven. All right. Remember, you you should um you should know you have to <laughs> you have to convert to gray if you want to be able to paint with that brush, and use different colors. Now you're always going to be painting in black and white. Then you know what you can just forget about converting it. But I suggest you do in case you ever want to paint with colors. Um, edit register material. Image. Hmm. Very stubble, I think, is a really good name. Remember to be able to use for brush tip, brush tip shape, all materials, brush, no, materials, hair fur. Okay, now that we're done, let's go here. Oh, I didn't like that. Oh, no. Let's see the more view. Mm -mm, let me work that. There we go. So, beard stubble. Which one's the beard stubble? Hmm. Is this one? No. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Oh, this one. Found it. So let's see what it's supposed to do. Ooh, that's a little weird. I'm gonna make it smaller. See, so it is beer stubble. Whoa, but I have no idea how I'm gonna emulate that. So. When you draw, it follows you, but not strictly. It's got a very wide gap between each stubble, so it's super random. Look at that. It is a great beard stubble. You can even be used as a grass if you flip it upside down. Like really young grass. Oh, actually, I might use this grass too. Let's look at the brush engine. 
the shape dynamics, angle jittery, and it's pretty much the same scattering. Look at that scatter, boy. Thousand percent. Yikes. No control. Ooh, that sucks. See, this is something I have definitely not been able to creatively translate to Clip Studio Paint. The dual brush setting. So what the dual brush setting does in Photoshop, it's like you're painting with one brush on top of the other, I think at least. And um, it's, I don't know if it's, if it does. It's kind of hard for me to explain the, um, the effect it has, but I have definitely not been able to emulate it. Color dynamics, yeah, it's fine. But this one, yeah, this is going to be troublesome. Oh boy. Well, we'll see how we do. So, we're going to duplicate this one because, yeah, why not? Oh, look at the hair one. I love this one. Ready for curly hair. So, let's duplicate single hair. Um, stubble. Is it two bees? Um, so we have that duplicated open this brush tip your material is one of them oops forgot to tag my material there we go now I can find brush tip Change it, filter, oops. There it is, hair stuff. Whoa. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Or like rugs. Oh, this is so cool. So, uh, first things first. Where do we start? Brush size. No, this time I don't want the brush size to. I will, I want it to be constant, so we're gonna leave it like that. The rate of the mixing. Mixing rate of soft drawing color. Mm, yeah, we're gonna allow this a bit. I want it to be mostly, you know, the do I want the dominant color to be the foreground color. Uh, a bit random. Honey, it's fine. Not everything nor normal at this. Yeah, everything normal. Everything strong. Uh, just thin middle. Brush tip. It's about the brush tip. Thickness all the same direction. Oh, but this one is, um, yeah, it's going down all the time. Oh no, it actually follows the line of the, of the drawing, because if I go left to right, the stubble grows left to right, then right to left, down to, yeah, down to up. So it follows you around. So that will do that in scatter. There's no need to do that here. Burst density is fine there. So the spraying effect, mm, very little particle density. Absolutely. And um, I wish there was a maximum value because there is no maximum value. Um, yeah, 25. What I'm going to do is in the pen pressure, what you can do, if you feel like that, super sensible, not so sensible. Particle size needs to be way smaller. Yeah, a little bigger. There we go. Yeah, I think it's kind of good. Ooh, no wait. No, this is not, this, yeah, this is not sensible. It's not really affecting it anyway, apparently. Spray deviation. A lot, no. Yeah. 
Oh, the god. I want to fly to that. Random. Yeah, it looks a lot more like it now. Bigger gap. Yeah. So I do want some angle jitter on there. How much angle jitter does this one have? 6% only. I actually have a lot. 27, let's see how that fares. Ooh, that is too much. Did you? No, we might leave it the same as before, watch out. Right. Yeah, I'm pretty good with that. I'm gonna register it before I lose it. So, remember if you wanna lower the particle size, um, if you wanna lower the size of the brush, uh, the decreasing and increasing the size of the brush will not um, lower the actual particle size of what you're drawing. So that, that's something kind of hard to get used to when transitioning from Photoshop to Clip Studio Paint. Because here, um, if I want to draw like a super huge big stubble, all I have to do is increase the brush size and voila, right there, look how big that is. In here, if no matter how much I increase that brush size, it stays the same. All it does now is um, the area in which it scatters, it in it's increased by a whole lot. So if I actually want the size of the stubble to be bigger, I'd go here to the particle size which is why it's exposed so I can be touching it up here if I need to vary it um, but that really is too big and that might be small no that's actually pretty good you get even a bit of random thing if we and the min value can be at 80 sometimes they're bigger sometimes they're smaller yeah mm, but I do need some random there oh in the random minimum value so let's see I'm gonna remove pen pressure leave only random so the smallest double is going to be at 50% of the particle size. So that's pretty good. And a little more. Uh, particle size. Yeah, I think that's good. Oh, beautiful. Now this was pretty easy. Yay, we got another one done. Good job. So let me go through the settings so you guys can copy it. Um, so brush size. No, it doesn't matter. You can do whatever you want, whatever's most comf comfortable for you. Ink, 100% opacity, bit of blending. Make sure the mixing rate of subdrawing color, um, it's quite low, so it's mostly the main color you have in your foreground. Um, the pretty much the settings are uh, quite simple to the in terms of here to the previous one so be sure to duplicate the same brush i did um i think i duplicated the one we just did in, in this stream so you'll be fine so amount of paint 100 density of paint 100 uh anti-aliasing um i think it's middle brush shape the, the, you don't need to do anything here um brush tip just add the stubble thickness is by default 100 horizontal direction zero brush density 100 spraying effect that's like the tofu of the whole meal here 
uh, spraying effect, particle size at 11.30, but at a bit of random where the minimum value is, 60, is 66. Then you have particle density, very low, spray deviation, very low. And in particle density, there's some pen pressure too, no minimum value. And uh, be sure to take down your the settings of the pen pressure to the lower right corner to make it a bit harder um, for it to reach a whole bunch of particle density for that setting. Uh, direction of particles is at 68 degrees, I think, and some direction of line, and random at nine percent. Well, at nine percent degree of effect of the spray deviation. Remember to register your settings always. And um, stroke, the gap is fixed at 143.5, with some random at minimum value of 74 percent. Um, no texture, nothing about water, watercolor, like remove all the, if there's anything here you need to remove it because it's going to interfere with your brush um, settings. Um, you know, erase, correction, uh, none, starting and ending, none, anti-overflow, none. So yeah, I'm kind of paranoid with registering every time just to make sure it's there. So if we go like that, it goes from left to right. If we go like this, it goes from right to left, up to down, down to up. Very cool stubble brush. Wow, we're good. We were just flying through this ones today. Very, very good, guys. Um, just yay, bye-bye. Um, I guess this is another kind of hair stubble. Maybe a bit, you know, the other one's like just born. This is just a little bigger. Um, let's go for it. So this is gonna be really cool. Like we, this can be like the last part or the the stream because we're probably going to copy all the settings from the last one. So here in Photoshop, let me see if I can find that brush. So it's a very thin stubble, not this one. This one right here. So it should be pretty much the same. Yep, there it is. I'm gonna make it smaller. It's great stubble. Okay, cool. So we do a file open. Remember to convert. It's the first thing you should always do. Okay, edit. Oh, we're gonna fly through this one. Register. Um, stubble hair. Larger or longer. Maybe. Remember to use for brush tip shape, uh, materials, materials, hair fur. Okay. Brush tips, not brush tips, hair fur. Uh, this one, make sure to tag it. Cool. We just forget about the file now here um on the stubble air and brush right click duplicate sub tool mm, call it longer yep oh no that's not how i want to name settings of sub tool so if you guys want to change the name because you messed up or whatever like i just did just you, you all you have to do is right click settings of sub tool and just um Change whatever you want. Stubble longer Aaron. Okay, cool. And uh, now let's go into the settings of the engine, of the brush engine. First thing we're gonna change is the brush tip. We don't want that brush tip, so let me change it, please. Aaron hair. There it is. Stubble hair longer. And. Uh, should be pretty good to go. Maybe increase the size a little bit. Mm. Hmm. So is this happening to this one too? Let me increase that particle size. Hmm. 
Oh, it was good. So it's, it, it seems... Um, in the longer one, like being drawn backwards. So if I'm drawing from up to down, the little hair, the, like this hair things, those ones right here, they should be flipped. Like they, they should be like that. No, not like that, sorry. Like that. Like the growing part uh, should be on the upside. So there's something wrong with this. So yeah, let's run to the settings. So brush tip, brush size, ink, not there. Brush shape, not there. Brush tip. Well, that is right, so. Particle effect, sorry guys, I had to yawn. Direction, oh, it's because of the direction of the particle. Nope. There we go. Register. So we go like this. Up and down. Down and up. Increase particle size. Beautiful. Just gorgeous. Gorgeous. So see? Told you it'd be pretty easy. Um, that's it for this stream, guys. Um, sorry that we got started a bit. Um, rough start there. Trying to get the, the audio set up. Hopefully this time the stream didn't have so much echo like last stream. That was absolutely terrible. Um, I didn't realize it had an echo. And uh, well, I had to upload the video like that. And there was something that happened that was really funny on the last stream. I don't know if you guys uh, have seen the video uploaded or not. But you should go check it out. It's hilarious. I think it's on minute 50, maybe. Something along those lines. Uh, I was talking and I actually fell asleep for maybe a second. But it felt like I had been, like I had gone out for a power nap of like five minutes. And apparently my brain decided to keep talking or to keep the dialogue going even though I was completely asleep. And um, I guess I was dreaming something. And what happened is that the dialogue I was actually you know, producing with my, um, it, it was just a relay of the dream, uh, through to dialogue. And, uh, it was quite funny. So if you guys want to check it out, have a laugh on that. It's on my last stream. So yay, we're going to delete that one. And we only have 13 left. So hopefully in the next stream or with each stream, we're able to go a little faster and we should be able to get all of this done and then um, that's it you pretty much have all Aaron Blaze's hair brushes into you know very ready in for your clip studio paint program um, which is something I really want because I love um, Aaron's brushes and I've been super lazy about translating them from Photoshop to clip studio paint don't let that um, stop you from trying out clip studio paint it's an absolutely amazing program I absolutely love it and I don't get any kind of benefit for saying that I bought the program and I bought it when it was on sale um, it was like 23 euros for the pro version fell in love with it I did the trial I really liked it a bit of a learning curve but I wouldn't go back I love how you're able to be super organized with your brushes your materials um, the brush engine is amazing uh, the one thing that I would love for it to have that it doesn't have is to have like a preview of the brush you're using instead of the circle. But you know, I just I'm just being picky. And uh, well, some of the filters are not the best. I do have to say Photoshop has better filters. But I don't. I think the most filter I use is blur, so I don't really care. Maybe the transform could be better for sure like the mesh transform, but you know, just, I just deal with that handicap, but I still think it's an amazing program. You should try it out. So thank you guys for watching. Um, this is already the third 
stream already so yay uh i'll see you next week again and we'll con we'll continue to do these brushes until we're done and have them all up and ready uh if you guys want me to do another pack do drop me a word um in any of my social media twitter facebook uh youtube and i'm always with the same names tame or i'm an instagram too so if you guys want like one special brush and it doesn't even have to be aaron Aaron's brush like if you have a special brush you just can't get from Photoshop to Clip Studio Paint just drop me a, a message and uh, I'll see how I can translate it from Photoshop to Clip Studio um, that's pretty much it guys thank you and I'll see you next week have a lovely weekend